It's tax time again, and that means it's time to suck it up and feed the beast. It's funny how we have to meticulously show our income down to the penny, suddenly be able to understand all the new tax laws and have it all turned in promptly or face the wrath of the federal government and possibly jail time. But the government doesn't have to explain or be held accountable for what they blow it on. <laughs> it states in the Constitution the government's purpose as, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Now, I'm not exactly sure what all that means, but... Did anybody hear words like special interest funding, private jets, <laughs> insider trading based on government contracts? No, but that's exactly what our asshats do. And I don't get mad at the IRS agents. It's not them. They work for these pimps. Every time the government blows their wad on a back alley craps game, they're like, we need 87,000 more hoes to hit the streets and get my money. <laughs> and if your John looks scared, hit him with fines and get them 1099. <laughs> and why does the government spend our money on stuff that doesn't at least try to benefit everyone? Special interests are just that, special. We're close to $30 trillion in debt, and we're only paying the interest payments. If you're in debt up to your eyeballs and your kid wants to go to clown college, you don't take out a bunch of credit cards to pay for it knowing you can only afford the interest. The rest of your family won't eat. And if your little clown becomes the next Ronald McDonald, he ain't coming back. He's got new clown friends. <laughs> while, everyone, so while everyone else is hungry, he blows his paycheck on big shoes, a squirt flower, and a car that holds 16 people. <laughs> Now, I do believe in services for those in desperate need, but we have to keep that in check. If you're able to work, you should. We need to give physicals or a checkup or something before you get the money. If you can run full speed pushing a grocery cart down the sidewalk, you can get a job doing exactly that <laughs> at a grocery store. <laughs> But if you think the grocery cart is a spaceship and you're delivering an invisible bridge troll to the planet <laughs> K-Roger, we need to help that dude. <laughs> and in turn, that helps everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just feel like we've taken our eye off the basic fundamentals of what the government's job is. We work our asses off to make that money, sign it over to the government, and they treat it like a four-year-old at Chuck E. Cheese. And if you work for the IRS, I want you to listen to my words clearly. I love you. <laughs> this is just a comedy show. And I hope I have not offended you in any way. But if I have... But if I have, I'm Larry the Cable Guy, and this is my country fried <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.